I am making another video for IGTV and I thought I would be making a lot more of them but it turns out to be well it's always hard to make videos while you're cooking it's not easy so anyway but I'm making this ahead of time it's lunchtime here in Rome it is 1 30 and I'm going out for drinks tonight so I thought okay I'm gonna make tomatoes stuffed with rice I can make them now they'll be ready when we come home because it's also something you can have at room temperature so anyway tomatoes these are all beautiful tomatoes from our garden there's two kinds of tomatoes this is a it's called like an ox heart tomato see it kind of looks like a heart no idea I think this is called like salad tomato anyway they're both they're all super ripe I've got six tomatoes here and the first thing that you want to do is can you see me yes sort of cut the top off like a lid see that little white part there I'm actually gonna cut that out and get rid of that you don't want a tough piece now the next thing I'm going to do and I'm gonna do this for all the tomatoes but I'm just gonna show you doing it for one what you want to do is carefully scoop it out if you have a melon scooper and I do have one in up in Umbria at our other house but I don't have one here these are so um, mature what is it ripe that it's very easy to do this with just a little spoon but you want to be careful not to break through the outer skin because that's going to hold all the rice at the end of the day um, you want to leave about probably at least a half centimeter of pulp along the edge there you go see that so and here is I'll show you this after now what I'm gonna do does everybody have their like favorite dish that they use for certain things this is my tomato stuffed with rice dish I think I got it free at a supermarket um, anyway I like it because I can fit six of these tomatoes in here and then they can go in the oven so I'm gonna repeat that with the rest of the tomatoes and I'll be right back I'm back I have emptied out all of these tomatoes and I just wanted to tell you you have to be a little bit careful be delicate because you really don't want to break them for instance these tomatoes were riper than the other ones and I had to be very careful didn't want them to break also you can if they have the little um, stem area on keep those they're really cute they when they cook they get kind of crispy and they're pretty and you want to make sure that you keep each lid associated with its respective tomato so now I'm gonna let the tomatoes just sit over there I'll get back to them and what I wanted to show you is this here let me show you you see that the tomatoes um, it's the tomatoes and their juices and you just have to make sure that you don't have too big chunks if you're using a little spoon they should be fine but it's very watery very chunky now what I want to do is add the rice I'm using arborio rice um, you can use almost any rice I got this because that's what they had at the market across the street get like one kind of rice anyway this is how you measure it and this is how oops got a hair there um, I'm not I want you to notice I'm not wearing an apron today I usually wear aprons when I cook but I decided from that other video it made me look really fat <laughs> I didn't like that so I'm like really neat cooker I'm not gonna get anything on this top anyway um back to measuring out the rice my mother-in-law taught me this and I here that's better my mother-in-law taught me this one handful of rice per person see that one handful and you think okay that's not enough because you're looking at the tomatoes the tomatoes look bigger I've made this mistake do not use more than one handful it's about maybe a tablespoon and a half of rice so I have six tomatoes so that's one two three four five six and I'm gonna you know you look at this and you think that doesn't look like very much but believe me it is enough I've made this mistake and you stir it up now I'm gonna add some salt probably about a teaspoon of salt because you want it salty stir that and here comes the secret ingredient of everything good olive oil equivalent of probably two tablespoons so I'm gonna stir that up and I will show you now the bowl and 
then you can see that there's a lot of liquid here. You can see the olive oil at the edges. And I'm just gonna let that sit there now for about an hour. So I'm gonna get this to sit there and within an hour, the rice is gonna absorb all those wonderful tomato juices and some of the olive oil and the salt and there'll be a lot less liquid here. So at the end, it'll be plumped up rice and uh, ready to put in, and chunks of tomatoes ready to put into the tomatoes and then bake them. So I will be back in an hour. Hi, I'm back and I'm going to stuff the tomatoes now. And I just wanted to show you that, look at this, it's all absorbed, all the liquid, it's very thick. And this way, the reason you do it this way is that way the rice is full of liquid already. It takes a much shorter time to cook. And that way the tomatoes won't fall apart while they're in the oven. And so what I'm gonna do now, move that out of the way, prepare these beautiful tomatoes for being stuffed. So what I'm gonna do is take out, take off the lids and I want them to go back on their original tomatoes. So I put them like this. What I'm gonna do is sprinkle a little bit of salt in each tomato. It's always very important to salt things as you go along. Even though there's salt with the rice, you want a little bit more salt here. Then what I'm gonna do, I pick these beautiful basil leaves. I'm gonna stuff one at the bottom of each one. They don't have to cover the whole thing. These just happen to be really ginormous because our terrace has gotten so much rain this year. Um, and now I'm going to stuff each tomato. Can you see? It? Not really. Yeah. So, what you want to do? It's about as easy as it can get. Stuffed tomato. Put it in. Go to the next one. And at the end, you should have used all the stuffing. Sometimes it doesn't work out. Oh God, I'm getting everything messy. I think I just got tomato juice on you guys too. Okay, I'm gonna finish stuffing these, and then I'll be right back. Okay, look at that. No more stuffing, perfectly filled. I have to tell you, when I first started making these, I did not trust my mother-in-law's advice <clears throat> that I only needed that small amount of rice. And so I'd always end up with way more sort of soaked rice than I needed. And also the whole ratio of liquid to rice wasn't working. So this is, um, I guess the moral of the story is always trust your mother-in-law. Anyway. I'm going to put the lids, these cute little lids, back on. And now, more salt. I know, it seems like a lot of salt, but believe me, it needs it. I'm also going to put olive oil on top of each of these. Not a lot, but a bit. And now I'm gonna get water. And I'm gonna pour water in here. And it should come up, you don't need a lot of water because some of the water will come out of the tomatoes and you don't want too much water, otherwise it gets all mushy. So it should come up about a half an inch. And then I'm just gonna put them in the oven, which I'll preheat it to 350, that's 180 centigrade, 350 Fahrenheit. That's it. And you kind of don't know how long they'll take. Depends on the tomato, but about anywhere from a half an hour to 45 minutes. But you really want to start checking after half an hour. And um, my mother-in-law likes to baste them halfway through. And what she likes to baste them with is a turkey baster, which comes from America. She says that's the best thing to use. I use a spoon because I don't have a turkey baster. Um, anyway, I will be back after they cook. One of the things when I'm working on a cookbook that the editor always asks that I never write in recipes is how do you tell if it's done? Um, well, one of the ways is you can just taste a piece of rice. And it's a little bit firm, but good. And the tomatoes look all wrinkly. And it's been in there 45 minutes, so it's done. And I forgot to say one thing. I'm going to link to the recipe because I've written about this on my blog. I don't think it's in any of my books, um, but I definitely wrote about it on my blog, and um, you can follow the link to that. Bye. Bon appetito.